Oh, hi. Why do you have your sword out? Are you on alert? Haha, <laughs> I stopped your door from closing. <laughs> oh, he saw the body. Yeah, they're on alert. Wait a minute, do they have a helmet? They do kind of have a helmet. That one looks like a chainmail helmet, though. Hmm. What? Alright, let me see if I can knock him out. I'm pretty sure I can't. What the hell? Okay. He has a helmet, and I'm pretty sure he was on alert. That worked, but he flew up in the air. Hmm. That is not what I expected to happen. Good enough. All right, what was I doing? Um, right, I haven't been here. Does this go upstairs? Yes. Yeah, I think it's time to go up. Oh wait, this isn't even, this isn't even where I came from. What's in here? the dumb waiter Don't even know how it works Stupid rope system too complicated for me I guess I should have hidden the bodies better. I know you are still I know here I saw someone, so. <laughs> Good night. <coughs> that should take care of all of the guards in this level. I'm just going to leave them here. Because I don't think there's any guards left to find them. Alright, now where exactly did I come from? Was it here? Yeah, here we go. Alright, I was trying to do this. Ooh. Slippery. Oh, look at that. Wee. All right, let's go upstairs. Wait a minute. That looks like something I can break through.
Never mind, that actually is not something I can break through. There's nothing behind that. Oh, I think that's the wages. Yeah. Alright, um, how do I get there? There we go. Wasn't that supposed to be like a year's wage? Only 50 gold? I guess they don't earn much. I'm like a shadow. Ooh, that's one of the uh, elite guards. Yeah, because they're supposed to be female guards, right? That's got to be one of the elite guards. <clears throat> Unfortunately for them, being elite does not make them immune to a blackjack to the back of the head. Alright, I need to be better at storing my... Is there an owl in, like, in the walls or something? <laughs> Alright, uh... I need to find somewhere to store the bodies. This will be fine as long as no one actually comes here. It's totally dark, but if anyone walks here, well, they're gonna literally step over the body. Eh, it's good enough. Bedroom key. Okay, let me see if I can find where I am. Second floor. Somewhere around the courtyard. Bridge. I believe bridge. I think the bridge is this. This thing right here. Whoops. Bridge, which is in the middle topish. Um that's true, then this should be east and west. Yep, east and west. So if I'm going east. And this is north. Then this door right here should be the blue room. So this bedroom key should open it. Bingo. Did something move? Nope. It's a mystery. Okay, I need to throw something. Must have just been the shadows. Maybe not. Maybe I'm fine. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> I guess it's burned out. There we go. Okay, she is rich. The hell is that? Was that the door? Okay, it's just the door. I think she's rich, so she should have a bunch of good stuff in here. The book. Ooh. Not bad. About a hundred worth there. Those aren't worth anything. Not as good as I thought it'd be. 317, Dear Journal, It is with high hopes that I begin a new chapter in my life. The loss of my dear friend Gerald, uh, Gerald has left a hole that will not be easy to fill. He left me with a business to run, people to contact, and enemies. I must deal with the threats against me the best I can. If tonight's meeting with the Count, with Count Harkov's 
uh, goes well, he'll gain access to Geralt's, uh, now my, suppliers, and I will acquire his protection. What lies ahead? Only time will tell. Louisa, if I catch you reading this, I'm going to dock your pay. It's paltry enough as it is, so hands off. <laughs> Someone's been reading her journal. Those, I must say, are beautiful curtains. Oh, that goes up. For a second, I thought that painting was sideways. <laughs> it's not. Wow, this place certainly needs some work. I guess it hasn't been fully restored from the fire. Alright, this is that main walkway. Seventy-five. How much do I need? Two thousand. Wow. I don't think I'm gonna have any trouble getting that. Library. If you remove a book, return it when finished. Lieutenant Tremble will enforce this rule any way he sees fit. <laughs> ah. Oh, wow. Those things are worth quite a bit. What about that? No? I can't take any of that. Someone just opened that. Oh god. Oh, oh, oh. Why did you walk so close to the wall? Okay, okay, it's fine. Another bedroom key. about what? The fire? Okay, she looks like royalty. Maybe the other person wasn't royalty. Because the guard's following her. I don't remember her name, though. There's too much information in the notes for me to remember that. Knocked out her guard behind her, like, ten feet. Alright, where can I put your body? Uh, I'll put you with the other one. Now, I want to know who that is. So many notes. No. Oh, 
It might have been in, whoa. It might have been in one of the notes that I didn't pick up. <laughs> oh, the ragdolls never get old. Now I've got a proper pile going on. It's going to be interesting when one of those three people wake up. Okay. Well, I think this place is going to be clear now that I just took out all three. Ooh, even the plates. My deity, uh, my, my deity? What the fuck? I can't even talk. My dear Lady Isabella, I have been regrettably detained by an emergency matter that only I can resolve. I will join you as soon as I can free myself. I hope your room is to your liking. Okay, Lady Isabella, that's who it is. Does this game have high dynamic range? Because I notice when I pick up a note, everything gets darker behind it. What if I need to look in this light? No. No, I don't think it does have high dynamic range. It must just be a, a thing that just happens when you read notes to make it easier to read. It's a tasteful nude. It's a ye olde style pinup. Pinup painting. Oh my god! You can see her bare shoulder! Alright, where have I been? Where have I not been? I haven't been up here. Let's go up here. This isn't even on the map. I think this is the attic. It's creepy up here. I don't think that's on the map. Nope. Hello. Wait, objective complete? What? What objective? Oh, the 2,000 loot, right. Dwell Trumbull and Mary start a new life. Drop the gold bounty on Trumbull's bed. There's a lot of optional goals. Some of which I don't even know what they're for because I've read so many notes I can't even remember what, what's happening. Oh, it's a part of a map. Hmm. Alright, I guess this would help me get the head. Maybe? I think I need the other half. Whoops, I sprinted. Don't sprint. Just check to see if there's anything up here. Nope. Ah, that's where that goes. Now I can sprint, because I know there's no one around. 
Now, what is up here? Library, if you remove a book. Okay, this is the library? I guess the upper floor for it? Now where do I go? What do I need to do? I still need the gold bar. Where is the gold bar? I don't even know where it is. I feel like I've explored everything, but there's obviously quite a bit more. So what have I missed? Okay, where does this go? Alright, been here. I think I've knocked basically everyone out. I could probably just sprint everywhere. I think I've explored everywhere on the third level. Wait, have I been here? Yeah, I think I have. Yeah. Whoa, I have not been there. Is that some sort of a demon altar place? Nor have I been here. the royal bedchamber? Key to Harkov's chamber. Ooh, can I play it? Yes! Terrible for stealth, but pretty cool. hard door. Hold on, let me finish exploring this room before I move on to the next. Nothing up here. Ooh, I can take this. Or, never mind, I can move it. Harkov's ledger. Hold on, I just got a key to something and I don't even know what. Where is it? Harkov's ledger. 212, lore oh, it's just a list of money. Anything worth looking at? Here we go, got some notes. 227, the skirmishes to the north are escalating. The two factions appear to have a... Appear to have an endless supply of small arms. Trumbull intercepted four crates of weapons marked Bridgeport City Watch. Ooh, I saw those. I must find out who's supplying them and ins insert myself into the supply line. I smell gold and must have it. 3-5. 
Lord Bascom must be dealt with. He defies me and is hurting business. My clients are now increasingly reluctant to meet their payments. Bascom needs to have an ex accident. Trumbulls become weak, so I spread the word that a bar of pure gold awaits the man who kills Bascom. 3-9. I hid the gold bar in Grimoire's vault. Oh. <laughs> okay. Great. Legend says that's where the church brothers hid their treasure, if only it were still there. I recall the night years ago when I found that vault, the button around... Around what? What does it say? Something... Something Felsen's sarcophagus held me at bay for the longest time. I thought I needed to push them in a certain... Sequence. I was elated when I found out that the sequence didn't matter. Okay. Sequence doesn't matter. 311. Why has no one come forward to claim the gold? Is Bazcom's castle that formidable? Can't he be waylaid somewhere along the town road? I might need to get Trumbull involved, after all. Though I fear giving him the gold would cut his ties to me. 313. Trumbull reports that someone is tearing pages from the church history book in the nave. He says the map of the catacombs is missing, which tells me he's been reading the book. Now, is it that he was able to read the book before me? Or how is it that he was able to read the book before me? 315. Found Grimoire's skull on its side, but still in its case. Someone's been trying to get at it again, but I have the only key. Despite my orders to stay clear of the chapel, it's clear that someone's been in there. Whoever it is doesn't know the skull is fake. I know, because I dropped it into Grimoire's sarcophagus in the vault, and nothing happened. <laughs> I've looked everywhere for the real skull. It must be in the catacombs somewhere, but it's too dangerous to search down there for very long. I'm hoping there's a clue in the church history... Uh, so it's important to recover all the missing pages. 317. Lady Isabella is up from town for a few days. I've had her put in the guest room. Supposedly, she's here to talk about her late husband's merchant business, but rumor, sh but rumor is she's looking for her fourth husband. I'm supposed to dine with her this evening, but I don't know if, if it's in my best interest to do so. This widow makes me nervous. I must find a reason to be away tonight. Okay, a lot more information. Display case key. And even more information. Do not forget, this is the key to the journal desk in the special room. Only take it if you are going down there. You lost it once. Good thing Wel good thing Welton found it. Good thing I got it back before he turned it into Trumbull. It could have led to some embarrassing questions. Major Welton got sick before he could say anything to Trumbull. No one reads that journal but me. I have no idea what that's talking about. No idea at all. Holy water. Welp, I'm going to be encountering some zombies. What is that? Oh shit, diamonds or uh, rubies? Something like that. Can I Can I get them? To do. Have Cook stop serving those miserable eels for dinner. I'd rather eat old boot leather. Bring Locksmith up from town to repair broken locks on this desk and the wall safe. Make sure Locksmith has an unfortunate accident on his way home. Wow. Talk to Trumbull about the guards. He must be able to find reliable men somewhere. Replace depleted candle on chapel sconce, which needs the... Uh, the weight to lock it again. Done. Good job, you did one thing. Now, can I pick this up? There we go. Jewels. I want to know if there's something up there. Nope. Hmm, I wonder if I have the key for this.
Oh, it's back to that room. Another door. So many doors. Alright, what's this way? Good, this one just opens. Sweet. Rings. Alright, let's explore this damn blue place. The hell is going on here? Is this the entrance to the sarcophagus? Oh yeah, that's comforting. A creepy little straw-filled doll. Okay. It's leading to the display room of some sort. Which I'm guessing is where the door over there might go. So what's up here? Oh, well, this is like the burned place. God, this place is so complicated. Okay, let's stay down here and then I'll go upstairs. Gotta divide this up so I don't miss places. Ooh, I almost missed you. Yeah, it does lead to the same place. I thought so. Hey, I see that. Oh shit. All right, come out if you're there. Found you. Ah, damn it. <laughs> oh, one of the only times I've actually been careless. Okay. I guess I was wrong. Perfect. Um, where should I put you? Actually, you are in full darkness here. Yeah, I'm gonna say this is fine. Alright, I think I have this place to myself now. Don't sprint. Gotta remember not to sprint. Okay, display case key. I should have it. Wouldn't be that. There we go. It's a fake, but it should be worth something, right? Hmm. Okay, if it's not worth something and it's a fake, then why do I have it? Church history. Ooh. Let's go to a nice corner and give this a read. Alright. Oh, cool. It's only 200 pages. Let's go. Braden Church. A history. The early period. The Lord Builder visited... What is BR? Baron? Brother? Bartholomew? 
I have no idea what BR is. The Lord Builder visited Grimoire in a dream and bade him to build a worthy church in the hills outside the town of Braden. Grimoire gathered to him fifty devout brothers, carpenters and masons, and over a period of five years did build the church, based on a plan given to him by the Lord Builder. When the church was finished, the brethren chose Grimoire to lead it. He began a program of education and community service, spreading the word of the Lord Builder far beyond the church's walls and Braden's borders. And as thy words are heard by unfortunate souls, will those souls rise up and build wondrous things. Oh, looks like something's uh, page is missing. And then, the remains of his flock to this day... Oh, something the remains of his flock. To this day, locals continue to talk about the terrible moans and screams coming from the site. They believe this is Father Gamor's way of keeping looters away. But during my time at the ruins of Brayton Church, I neither heard nor saw any evidence of Father Gamor's ghost. Respectfully submitted, something Gallon Hall, Bridgeport Church. Hmm. Oh, I can't read it. Ooh, loot. What the heck is... Oh, it's a candle. Give me your cute little tiny candle. There you go. The thing's so cute. Look at it. Oh, come with me. The skull of Father Gamor. Looks like someone squirted ink all over the wall. That or it's just very old blood. The other door is to be locked and barred from dusk to dawn. Oh, this must lead to the sarcophagus. Yep. Alright, I've got to find a way to open it or find an alternative entrance. So many pathways. Where does this downstairs go? Back where I've been? Okay, yes. Now, I've explored all of this. I think it might be time to go up. Yeah, it's time to go up. I don't think I'm going to find anyone up here. I don't think anyone actually lives here. Alright. Explore this level and then go up to the next one. Actually, I think I have to go to the next level. Yeah, I do. This mission is even bigger than I thought. That was close. Okay, here we go. Hmm. 
I bet I could jump up there. Maybe not. How many rope arrows do I have? Two. No, I don't think that's wood. No, I think that's stone. Hmm. Alright, what's down here? Have I been here? No, I don't think I have. Where the hell am I? West Catacombs. A map and inventory of the catacombs at Braden Church. Okay, so I have west and east. However, there's no point in even really looking at this until I'm actually in the catacombs, so I'm just gonna put that away for now. Ooh. Seriously? In this chest is a bunch of old shitty bottles. still never get over how cool that is. The fact that, the fact that you can actually light up candles and stuff. Alright, this should be back where I've been. Yes. Close enough. And I've already full explored this, so let's go up. Oh, that's just up to the bell. Which I can't do anything with. Go up here, go up there. Hmm. Alright, so how do I access the catacombs? Have I been here? No, I have not. Okay, I have no idea where to go now. I've been back here. Yep. Is there anything in my notes about how to get there? It might be, but it's not named anything super obvious, like how to get to the catacombs. I mean, this is it, but it's locked. And I'm guessing the only way I could get through this, assuming this is where I need to go, is probably with a button or a lever or something that will open up that gate. There's gotta be something I'm missing from the notes. Hold on, I'm gonna be back when I find something. Okay, I am back. I found out what to do, but not with my own skills, but by we reading a walkthrough. Yeah, so I ran around for a bit, literally running around, because I, I think I've knocked out every single person in this entire level, except one person who's sleeping down on the first floor. Actually, no, I don't think she's on the first floor. I think she's in the, the cellar. Anyway, I found nothing, so I ended up having to look online, and I found out what you're supposed to do. Apparently, Harkov's list, this, the last item on it, replace depleted candle on chapel sconce, which needs the weight to lock it again. Done. Apparently, that is supposed to clue you in that you need to go to the chapel, which is where I'm at right now, down on the first floor. This is the chapel. It's where I met the headless dude. 
Apparently. Replace depleted candle on chapel sconce, which needs the way to lock it again. Apparently that's supposed to clue you in that you need to go here. And do this. I... I don't even know. Everything about this mission has been great, but this is really silly. Like, I don't, I don't get it. Oh great, it's temporary. When I read that, replace depleted candle on chapel sconce, which, sconce, which needs the weight to lock it again. I, my brain interpreted that as being nonsense, because it doesn't make any sense, it doesn't mean anything. Replace depleted candle on chapel sconce, which needs the weight to lock it again. Lock it, what is, what is it? Nothing about this suggested any sort of a secret chamber. I had no idea what that meant. Lock it. Well, actually, that's not quite true. I did have some idea. I thought when they said lock it, I thought it was talking about the uh, the proper main entrance to the sarcophagus that's locked. Remember, there's a note on the outside that says, like, locked from dusk till dawn or whatever. So when they said lock it, I thought maybe it's talking about that. So the first thing I did is I came in here and I just um, tossed all of the candles to the ground and then I went back up there to see if it was unlocked and it wasn't. I mean, it doesn't even it doesn't even make any sense. The candle sconce, the chapel sconce, needs the weight to lock it again. That implies when you take the weight off, whatever will happen will activate, which is exactly what I did. I took everything off, but it doesn't work because that's not what you need to do. Taking it off has nothing to do with anything. You need to press it. Like, what? That makes no sense at all. But anyway, continuing on. Time to go into the sarcophagus. Hey, ghost jelly glass man. I'm going to turn my light off. I'm going to take you with me. Actually, then everything's going to see me. I'm going to put you here. I think there's going to be ghosts and zombies. In fact, don't I have holy water? I think I do. Let me get it. There it is. You know what? I'm not going to be able to knock out zombies or ghosts, so I might as well put that away. Harkov's journal. 212. Katrina has become dangerous. I must watch my steps, lest the other servants suspect my relationship with her. 215. Katrina said she would lay all before the town magistrate if I didn't meet her demands. Foolish girl. Our late night meetings must not become common knowledge. My love for her is waning. <laughs> Did he arrange her accident? Her accident? 217. I let the servants attend Katrina's funeral today. Bad fortune, getting drunk and falling to her death like that. Yeah, he killed her. Wow. 3-5. I watched the new maid, Mary, again this eve. She is so lovely, it almost hurts to cast my gaze upon her. Of all the servants over the years, I do believe she is the most wondrous. Though our stations in life could be no farther, no farther apart, I know one day she'll be mine. 3-6. When my great-grandfather restored the church and added on to it, his mistrust of servants and guests made him add the secret hallways. Every night I make use of the servant hallway to watch Mary sleep. Oh my god. <laughs> and the secret door to the blue room makes guest liaisons possible. No! I've word from town that my Mary is... 
sweet on the son of the wailing wolf innkeeper. I cannot let this stand. I must make a move against this idiot boy, lest he take her from me. 312. Trumbull refuses to deal with the boy and won't say why. I'll look elsewhere to resolve the matter. 315. Yesterday, the innkeeper's son fell from his horse while hunting. His head hit a rock and he died instantly. Such a tragedy. I must send condolences to the innkeeper and his wife. Perhaps Cook can prepare a basket of fruit and cheeses. <laughs> 316. Mary is inconsolable and has taken to her bed. Whitcomb says there's nothing to be done until the girl's thoughts of the dead boy began uh, begin to fade. This is good news. She'll be in her bed for days, making it easy for me to gaze upon her. Holy shit. Harkoff is a creepy, psychopathic sounding murderer. Let's go sideways before I go down. Hmm. What does this do? It sounds like I'm taking a picture. Say cheese. Teresa, Lady Isabella will be staying in the blue room on the second floor for a few days. Be sure to clean the room before she arrives. Lord Sylvester did not leave it in a fit st Oh, this is the servants' hallways. I've been here before. Yeah. Okay. All right, down it is. Okay. This is a wonderful place. Holy shit, those things are creepy. <laughs> yeah, let's just put out the creepy red light. Okay, Farrowin, or whatever that says. Let me whip out my map. Farrowin, Farrowin, Farrowin. Oh, it's coming back. And it's going away. No, it's not. Now it's going away. Okay, Farrowin. Farrowin, Farrowin, Farrowin. Was it this one? Farrowind? What's, acro What's across from it? Uh, Thomas? Farrowin and Thomas? Oh, there it is. Yeah, right, right next to the entrance. Of course, because I'm next to the entrance. <sighs> okay. Um, hold on, there's something in my notes. There's something in my notes for what to do. Something to do with buttons. 
special room. Something about pressing buttons here? No, it was from Harkov, I think. Hold on, I know I have it. It's here. No. Nope. Ooh, I think it's here. Yeah, here we go. I hit the gold bar in Grimoire's vault. Legend says that's where the church brothers... Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I recall the night years ago when I found that vault. The buttons around something Felsen's sarcophagus held me at bay for the longest time. I thought I needed to push them in a certain... Oops. Certain sequence, I was elated when I found out that the sequence didn't matter. So, Felsen. Which, whoops... Felsen, which is somewhere else. So keep going and keep exploring until I find Felsen. Boren. All right, East Catacombs. Boren, Boren. Okay, I'm going north. To the right is Fornvind and Ronvin. God, the lighting here is so creepy and so well done too. It's coming back. Brim. Brim, or wait, is that Grim? That's Grim. Grim and Shambler, hi. Can I knock them out? No, I, I don't think so. Oh, hi. That's a wonderful noise. Pain. All right, now I'm into the west. Or not. I don't even know where I am. I'll find my bearings when I'm not hiding from a skeleton man. Ooh. Oh, this must be the buttons. Okay. Felsen. Oh, there's two. Felsen. All right, I'm at Felsen. The order does not, or the sequence does not matter. Okay, but what am I even going to be opening with this? Are there symbols on them? There are symbols on them. 
But the sequence doesn't matter. Okay, I'll press them all once. Oh. Uh. I. Okay. That simple? Hmm. Ooh! <gasps> the gold bar! Yes! Gold bounty. Oh my god, I'm rich. <laughs> oh my god! So much money. This might be the first time I've seen a long candle. At least that I can remember. Oh, look at that cute little candle. There you go. Oh god, that's bright. I'm gonna lock you in there. They can't see me from up there, can they? Just in case... I'm gonna put out these ones near the entrance. Alright, so I need his head. I need to give him head. What was that note? It's no more than two uh, walls away. Catacombs. Where did it say that? Nah, it's not there. No. Maybe church history? Church history. That's disturbing. No. God, where was it? I don't even know if I have it. Well, it is optional. And one of the optional things uh, I want to do to help Trumbull and Mary start a, new, uh, start a new life, drop the gold bounty on Trumbull's bed, which I'm definitely going to do. Because it sounds like they deserve it. They should get the hell away from this crap. Especially Mary, who's definitely in danger. Okay, so it's like no more than two walls between between them. Oh my god, I'm mashing the keys and getting confused. Map, 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 map. Okay, no more than two walls between them. Hmm. Let me find east. This might not be worth it. I mean, I don't need to do it. Hold on, wait a minute. I, I can't point. I wish I could point. West. West, west, west. West... West. Okay, I think I might know where it is. I can't point, so I can't really show it, unfortunately.
I'm going to keep looking for skulls, just in case. It looks like that's one, but I can't get it. If I continue this way, there should be a big chamber. The heck is this? Where does this lead? Oh, this isn't back to the entrance, is it? No. Where are the... Oh! Cool. Okay, good to know that's there. Okay, this should be the big chamber over here. Over through that door. Look for a skull in here. What if I can do this? Cool. Pretty good. Have you had a nice patrol down here in the crypts? Yeah, there's a lot of rats, though. They creep me out. I know, the rats are so creepy, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, goodbye. God. It gets lonely down here. Where are all the female skeletons? Unfortunately, I don't see a skull in here, so I think I was wrong. But anyway, this place is pretty small, so it can't take that long to just search it for a skull. I don't believe I can open this, can I? There's some secret button. Do I need to uh, give the statue a high five to open it up? Nope, nothing in here. This, I think, is the beginning. Yeah. Alright, let me make one more pass through. Looking for a skull, and if I find nothing, then oh well. And what about that? Did I even get it, though? Oh, whoa, that actually might be it.
All right, let's give this a shot. Um, I just realized a problem. Wait, can I use it? Uh, I think I need to drop it. Yeah, see, you know what the problem with dropping it is? I don't have a key assigned to drop items. Whoops. There's so many controls, I kind of ran out, and I figured I would never really need to drop anything. Alright, what is it under? Tools? New. No. Inventory. Drop in. Oh, wait, drop inventory item R. Okay, apparently it is assigned. Let's put it right there. Sweet, I kind of messed it up at the end, but I did it. Thank you, friend. Now I can leave this place and travel to the blessed city. You're welcome, Here Ghost. <laughs> that is so cool. So it goes even... Whoa, why did this just light up? Oh, are these lighting up as I go? <laughs> oh, what's down here? That is so cool. God, look at the lighting. And, I mean, b both just from the Doom 3 engine, but also just how the lighting was used in this mission. It's great. Oh my god. Alright, how much am I going to get? I've got about 4,800. And now I've got 5,300. Damn. Damn. Okay, now the only thing I need to do is... See, there's another optional there. Uh, has Harkov done something to give Trumbull a reason to kill him? Find evidence and drop it on Trumbull's bed. Should I try that? I guess I'll try that. I'll look for something in his room, maybe. But I'm definitely going to drop the gold bounty on Trumbull's bed and then leave. Whoops. So I believe it's level 3 that has Harkov's chamber. Yeah, or second floor. So let's let's get the hell out of here. That's step number 1. Then Harkov's chamber, then Trumbull's chamber, and then out of here. For good. Okay. Now, Harkov's chamber. Um, no, this is Trumbull's chamber. So let me switch to the gold bounty. And drop. <laughs> what if you what if you dropped it on his bed and then picked it up? Would that undo the mission, or would you complete it and have the gold? I mean, it's ridiculous, so I'm not going to try it, but I'm curious. Okay, so I need to go up and go to Harkov's chamber and search for anything that would be evidence uh, that would be reason for Trumbull to kill him. Oh, you know what it would probably be? It'd be the book where he's talking about uh, watching Mary. Wait, do, do I have the book? Hold on. Maybe I have the book. Because Mary is his daughter. Trumbull's daughter, so... No, it's not the ledger. Harkov's journal. Yeah, hold on, let me try to drop this. Oh, 
me get that crap out of there. There we go. Uh, R. Whoops. <laughs> I overshot it a bit. There we go. Sweet, I did both. I really like that, the fact that the mission wasn't too handholdy with finding the evidence and stuff. I actually used my brain to think... I mean, it's pretty simple, but I used my brain to think through it. Mary is Trumbull's daughter. This journal entry, this book, shows that Harkov is both, well, a serial killer, basically. And quite possibly psychopathic, and is also a danger to Mary. And then from that, I d deducted that, well, that's probably good evidence for, or good reason, a good motive for Trumbull to kill Harkov, and it worked. I like that. It wasn't a big thing like, you know, find the secret death journal in Harkov's chamber, and then you get it, and then it says, put it on his bed so that he will, you know, it's not like that. You have to actually use your brain. Return to where you started? Alright, time to go. Um, down. Uh, I'll find it. It's gotta be a staircase somewhere near. Actually, am I in the cellar right now? I think I am. Never mind, I'm not. Here we go. Go this way. And... Some, uh, wait, where am I? Wait. Am I going the right way? Yes. I think. Maybe? Hmm. Okay, I'm lost. Shit. I'm in the right general area. Wait, 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 wait. This looks familiar. Oh no, here we- Yeah, I think- No, oh, goddamn, I'm back here! Ah. Uh. This was really early on. I know it's down here. It's the infirmary. Oh, right, this is the kitchen. Kitchen. I need to get to the infirmary. The infirmary is from... Uh, go to the kitchen and go north. Right? And then go... Down the stairs? What? Where are the stairs? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay. And press the button. Good night. You know what? I took the arrow out of this out of the skeleton. I feel like I've disturbed the body. Let me put it back the way it was. There we go. Just the way I found it. Oh, whoa, there's more. Later that night. I see Trumbull finish the job. Dun, dun, dun! 
Okay, took me about two hours and 55 minutes. A lot of that was running around. I think in real time is probably more like two to two and a half hours. Loot. Oh my. Loot acquired. 5,300 out of 5,600. I got almost everything. Nice. Zero sightings. I'm proud of that. Still don't know what the stealth score is. I'd have to read that for a while to figure it out. But I definitely did way better in my stealth than I did in the previous missions, because in the previous missions I kind of just like got fed up and got searched and got people alerted to me to the point where I just shot them in the face with arrows, which is not what I want to do in Thief. I want to be unseen. And that's basically what happened here. I mean, I got seen sometimes, but I just... Uh, it wasn't very frequent. And I loaded my game and got past it and had a good run. So a hell of a lot better than I was last time. Yeah. So now, talking about the mission, this was a really, really, really good mission. It is huge, epic, beautifully detailed world. Everything's tied together. A wonderful amount of information. You get to learn about all of their lives and all of their intertwining uh, motivations and things like that. You know, you're just... You're a shadow going through the mansion. Or the old church, whatever the hell it is. Discovering all of the, you know, the seedy underbelly of this place. And all of the characters within. And piecing all of these things together. It's just so detailed and just so good. That was an amazing mission. I think that was better than the Tears of St. Lucia, which was really damn good. That's my favorite mission so far. So yeah, very good. The only problem I had with it was the really silly wall sconce puzzle thing. That was ridiculous, but in the grand scope of the mission, it's pretty minor. It doesn't take away from how good everything else is. So yes, exceptional, exceptional mission. So I hope you have enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon with new missions.